Well, I'm out today. I'm braving the woods in our honey hole. And uh, I've only been in there five minutes. And two ball jar lids, top to a can, and a spoon. An old one. I mean, everything here is 1920 and older. We know that because of the history. Uh, it's thick. Lots of mosquitoes. I'm going to fight off the mosquitoes and the ticks. And it's full of brush and briars. But I can't wait till fall. I just got to get out here and start thrashing through it. All right. I'd forgotten my camera and my water. So I had to come back to the truck. But I'm going to head back in for a little bit. See you on the next find. Just to give you an idea what I'm up against. I'm fighting through briars and all the overgrowth, but I know there's stuff in here, so let's get at it. Well, there's my next target. Ball jar lid, couple of bones. We dig a lot of bones. There's a little bit of broken glass in that hole too. Clear all these ball jar lids out of here and see if we can find some good stuff underneath them. All right, keep looking. Well, my insanity for coming out here and digging this stuff. This hole, oyster shells, some glass, some bones, and I just popped a coin. Like I said, everything out here is 1920 and earlier. I just found a weedy. It's a 1918. Just proves her theory that everything out here is pre-1920. We've proved that over and over out here. We found a couple modern things that somebody must have dropped, but the stuff we're looking for is the older stuff. That just made my day complete. Looks like I nicked it a little bit with my shovel. But that's all right. Made it worth coming out here and uh, trying to hunt in this crap. All right. Let's see if we can find us something older. Maybe some Indians or barbers or something. Let's move on. Yeah, there's my next hole. Some kind of a hook for hanging plants or something. And a couple of oyster shells popped out of the hole. Let's keep looking. You know, I've been over this little area, I don't know how many times. And I am still pulling ball jar lids out of here. I, I don't even know how many of them I found in here now. And, Still clearing them out though, but I'm finding goodies in between them, so we'll just keep digging. I've dug up a few other things, some scrap stuff that I didn't I didn't film, so let's move on. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. It's getting a little hot and sticky out here though. Oh there's my next target. Not really sure what that is. Some kind of a cap off something, who knows? All right, let's keep going. I'm about ready to head out of here. I think the mosquitoes are winning. Well, there's my next signal. An old cap off something. Not the twist on variety either. So it's old. All right, I'm kind of heading back toward my truck. See if I can get there without having to dig anymore. Well, I'm down at a local park. Well, not local to me. It's 20 miles away. I uh, just thought I'd come down here and poke around this little beach and around this park. And here's my first find. Actually, I found a 20 gauge shotgun head stamp already and modern penny. But I know that this park was here a long time ago, early 1900s. So I'm going to poke around a little, see what there is to see. I'm sure other people have already probably hammered it, but something to do, get out of the house. Yeah, there's my next target. 
<clears throat> modern penny zinking it's getting all eaten up all right let's move on and my next target probably be digging a few of these modern pennies well i moved up into a grassy area on this hill and just had a really deep signal unfortunately but i had to go down about six eight inches for that let's see if we can find small coins up here well i'm up by the bleachers by the ball diamond right now and of course another penny let's keep going well i pulled four or five more pennies modern ones but all of a sudden i'm getting a little bit higher tone i'm thinking maybe dime 45 46 on the legend eh, we'll dig it see what we got well it's out of the hole let's see if we can find it And I called it. It's a dime. All right, I think I'm gonna head out of here. <clears throat> Finding this modern clad just isn't doing it for me. Well, I decided to come down to a park that I've hunted numerous times and have hunted with other people in the past. I found some good stuff here. And I'm just getting started. I mean, I just turned on the machine, and you aren't going to believe what I just found. First target. Check this out. Right here is where I dug. I didn't even go down a half inch. It was real close to the surface. I popped my shovel in and popped it up, and look at that. It was a screaming signal because it was so close to the surface. But I got a ring right off the get-go. First target. Now, I haven't looked at it close yet. I'm going to wipe it up a little bit and see if it's any anything precious or not. But a ring on the first target. I'll get back to you. Well, I wiped it up a little bit. And unfortunately, it's bling. No writing inside, but that's still a heck of a first target hit in a park that's been hit a million times. All right, let's see if we can find something better. Well, there's my next target, Modern Penny. I'm just kind of moving around out here over near a tot lot now. Just kind of wandering around. Yeah, there's my next target old zipper pull let's move on well i'm out in the park today really nice day out this is actually a ball diamond uh it's been here a long time in fact my father played ball here back in the 30s uh but here's my first find very tiny almost thought it was a button at first but it's brass it looks pretty old some type of a snap <clears throat> i don't know if that'd be off a old baseball glove or what that is but it's brass and it's looking pretty old by the patina now yeah, let's see what else we can find well i'm out again today with the legend and right next to that little snap I just found, I got a real high tone, solid 50. Well, let's dig it, see what we got. Yep, 
And there's my first uh, coin of the day. Modern quarter. All right, let's keep looking. Well, there's my next signal. 46.47. I have to check this one out. Well, based to a little car, I think it says flattery on the bottom. All right, let's move on. Yeah, there's my next target. Old bottle cap. Let's move on. Yeah, there's my next signal. 45, 46. My guess would be a penny, but we'll have to check it out and see. Well, that signal is actually a dime. Modern. All right, let's see if we can find some old stuff. Well, I just had a solid 26 signal and a modern nickel. Nothing old yet. Yeah, there's my next target. Another zipper pull. All right, let's move on. And a bottle cap. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, another solid 26. This is why I pull those. Looking for the nickels. It's a 1968. Getting a little older. But we'll keep going. Well, another 45 signal, another modern dime. Let's keep looking. And there's my next signal, modern penny. All right, keep looking. <laughs> 